so thankfully if Caleb did some of the 50, that was exciting. When I found <laughs> that out when I found that out yesterday, you know, I think he might have been able to beat me. But so I said might have. I didn't say I didn't say he was going to. Working through the season with the guys on the team, obviously, you know, the, the two people got DQ'd, which is unfortunate, but 115.8 out there, even with the with the DQ, was faster than we've been in a long time. Just kind of training with those guys and you know, knowing, having them push me in practice and me pushing them, it's just been really good. Uh, yeah, that was super fun. Um, you know, just because kind of being here for three years and seeing seeing the guys behind me kind of put it together and be able to get their hand on the wall first, it's just it's just nice to kind of follow that up and you know, we graduated a pretty good class last year, so kind of be able being able to come in and, and follow that up and fill some holes that we had that were you know we were going to win a couple of events that we won last year and just being able to get that done for the team was good. I mean, the only the only difference would be just confidence. I mean, just knowing that I've you know competed at higher levels and being able to like kind of you know know how to handle yourself against competition like this, and you know how to handle yourself with just with a meet and with how, all the days and how to just get through recovery and all that. So <laughs> no way, <laughs> I definitely off the versatility. I swam a uh, 100 fly. I didn't swim 100 flies since high school. I was 51 2 in high school, just for everybody out there. Um, but I swam 100 fly. We had an invite meet at Auburn for our guys that didn't make the team. Um, and I went 47 6, so I was just ecstatic with that. But I think that's probably where my other strokes end. <laughs>